Hey, hey, it's Russ Rung. I know, no videos in a while, because why? Life has been more exciting than making videos. I did go to Penang, was there for five days. Don't go, it's boring over there. Good food, but other than that, eh, not much going on. Anyway, I'm at the resort today, and I kind of give you guys an update what's been going on over here. So, oh, wait, maybe three months ago, we discovered we had some termites in one of the bungalows, so we needed to get rid of those. And... We started looking around and realizing that we have a lot more termites than we thought we had. And it was really bad termite infestin infestation. In fact, it was so bad, we've had to shut down the resort for a while to do some remodeling to get rid of them all. So, you may give you an idea of some of the things we've had to deal with around here. All of the post foundations here, they're not concrete. And that's on all of the bungalows because the termites had eaten through many of them. The walls, same issue. Termites had got to all of them. And so what we've done is, luckily the front did not get damaged on them, but on the side, this all the wood over here, this is unit six, and this side not did not get hit. The other side did. Now this side, maybe you can tell, this is wood. No problem, real solid wood. Over on the other side, I'm gonna pick up one little piece they're doing here. Ugh. This, this is concrete. I know, it looks just like the wood. All just needs to be painted. As you can see, it's the same treatment that they did. Get out of the way, plant, over here. So what it is, is this fiber board, and it's a concrete fiberglass mix they can get wet and basically you can color it whatever you want to. And they've, plants are in the way again. They've done is they duplicated the entire pattern all over again. So after they paint it, it will go back and looking like wood like it does there in the back because that the back is the same thing here. On the inside, it's the same treatment. And then there's even insulation in there now, where the wood was originally the insulation, now they have real insulation. Uh, new windows were put in, because they used to be these swing-out windows, and now they're sliding glass windows. Um, this unit, this wall, it seemed like the walls that face this side, of the right side of the bungalows were fine, but the left side got damaged. But all of the, as you can see, all new bases here. This is all concrete, because they ate through all of that, ate through all of that. And then this unit got spared. Only it had said minor damage to the window framing. So they were able to redo this window. We got lucky on this one, but they did eat through some of the, you know, these the, the um, former wood foundations. So now all concrete. Again, the same thing here. You can see where there was some minor damage and they're working on getting that cleaned up. Um, Let's go over here on this side. You can see where they're working on it right now. This unit got really hit bad that this wall was being done and you can see them now and still in the process of putting in the decorations to make it look like that. Here's a lot of the old wood and there's a lot of it someplace else right now. It's soaking in salt water because my brother-in-law is going to reuse some of it. So here is... Um, <laughs> One of the bungalows completely stripped out of the wall, so they're putting a new wall in here, uh, both inside and out. But you can see what the inside looks like, what they've done, where you can see that they've got insulation, uh, like a drywall material. Uh, that's concrete uh, uh, there, that's not wood wall. And then we added these new sliding doors here, where it used to be a swing out door. And the sliding door, the accordion door there, is much easier to use and it doesn't take up as much space, so it's a little bit nicer. Uh, this unit didn't get damaged, but the really bad one that got hit the most is the one up here, number one. And I'll take you upstairs and you can see what's going on. And the reason for this is a year and a half ago, when the flood of Rayon came in here, well, we got the termite larvas came in and then they settled in on the land that night. And then a year later, you have all the termite damage. So here, so we'll walk up these steps. This wood will all get replaced here. We do have some new wood to put in here. I do believe this is unlocked. Yes, all right. 
So coming in here, that entire bathroom wall destroyed. This wall is being held together by paint. Over here behind the duct tape is the termite trap and within two weeks it killed all the termites. And we originally discovered we had termites because if you look up here in the ceiling there, that, that's not supposed to be there, that white stuff. Um, that's like termite dust or termite home. And so we had to figure out what it was and we realized what it called the termite people. Uh, had another termite post here, but this whole wall was completely eaten away by the termites. It was, literally was just being held together by the varnish over the wall. So they'll be redoing all of this as well. The same thing, they'll be putting in an accordion door on this wall here, a uh, new window, because this whole wall, as you can see, if I put the camera on here, yeah, that's all from termite damage. And they basically just came up right on the ground and just worked their way up. Came right up here along this post here and that post there. So that is the fun we've been dealing with and why the resort has been closed. If people are asking, hey, hey, Ross, can we come over and stay over at your resort? And now you know why. We just have a lot of dust and a lot of noise. We do have uh, three of the units already completed. So the... I'll see if I can go into one of the other units here and show you what we did. These units did just have one king size bed in them. And the biggest request we would get is, hey, do you guys have family units? People ones that can sleep three or four people because we have a lot of Thai visitors more than we have foreign visitors and they'd like to come in as families. So I'll show you what we did in the remodeling of those here as we walk over. 19 over here. 19. Say hello, 19. She's in her Tinkerbell outfit today. That's the uh, resort mascot. That's also unit um, three over there is doubling as the um, office at the moment because the office is full of all the storage. So this unit has been completely redone. First thing we did over here is the door used to be here in the middle. Now it's on the left. And that leaves room then so we can put a mattress on this side and a mattress on this side. So now you have a king and a queen. Now you can sleep four people, or if you have kids, you're gonna have three of them in the, on the king and parents on the queen. Um, next thing we did is we opened up the kitchen area here. And it now has the accordion door. So at nighttime, you wanna close it so the air conditioner only has to work this hard as opposed to having to try to cool down the, you know, cool down the kitchen as well, which would be a waste. And then we have this big, uh, the closet here, the closet organizer gets, will get moved over to the day, uh, closer to the refrigerator. And we still have the kitchen and everything set up over here. Luckily for us, none of the floorboards in any of the in, uh, these units or the frame got attacked by termites. It, in fact, these, uh, even here, these walls here did not get hit. It was only the pillars, the foundation pillars that we had to redo, and it was very light. So we got really lucky with that. And so that's now going to be units three, four, and five are going to be just like this with these large family units. So you can have more than just two people sleeping in them, which will be really nice because, you know, meeting the needs of our customers is basically what we're trying to accomplish. Um... Luckily for us, uh, the plants didn't get destroyed. We're doing good on that. Ooh, too close to the camera, Ross. Um, and then this unit, as I keep looking at the camera, so like the most damage where both walls need to be replaced. This one is, was, uh, did not get damaged, only the foundation. Now, putting in these new concrete foundations was a real chore. We ended up buying um, both a pneumatic jack like you would pump up a truck using that and the scissor jack from the trucks to lift up the, the foundations just enough to take out the old pillars slide in the new ones put these new concrete bases in there and then lowering it back down it was a sight to watch using automobile jacks to lift the houses so that they did not settle in the process um, the final step that we'll be doing in our reception but like I say is just filled with a bunch of stuff at the moment is the back wall here. 
you can see it's completely open. We're going to close this off as well. And right now it's just the breeze blows through there. So when they finish all the other units, they'll put the same treatment all along the back here. And that will be the final step. In the meantime, the resort is full of dust everywhere. Um, two new bikes now for rental for people to come in. The uh, Scoopy here and the CBX, I think is what that is. There's also a kind of click around here as well that somebody's using at the moment. Uh, so yeah, so reason why you can't come in, you can hear the air compressor running there. Lots of noise, lots of dust, lots of construction. And, unt and until all the construction's done, we then we can put up the um, varnish and dries and the smell goes away, we're gonna stay closed. And which will probably be about another two months. So we're hoping that by the end of October, just at the time of the rainy season is over, we'll be back up and running. So we'll have November, December, right when the hot start of tourism starts again, we'll be ready for it. But here, give you an idea of like some of the um, things we've had to deal with. All the old windows, you can see the, uh, if I zoom in, that's termite damage. Uh, lots of extra scrap wood at the moment. We're not damaged, but they're gonna reuse it uh, on another project someplace else that our contractor's taking it all. And it's just, uh, he has a home for all of it. Some of the stuff we've been able to reuse just in other places and they redid the windows, they were able to make all new windows with the scrap. So it's really impressive. But yeah. Well, anyway, that's it for going on over here at the resort. So if anybody was asking what the hell's going on, now you know. Anyways, it's Ross and Ryan, signing out. Like, subscribe, tell your friends that uh, once we're open, you know, we're open for business when we're open. And I'll be sure to make a video to let y'all know that.